All right, now we're going to do some interesting constructions where we're actually going to use compass and straight edge without using any measurements to actually construct angles that have a specific measure, uh, which is kind of a cool thing. Now, there's some limits to that, but once we construct an angle, once we're able to construct an angle of a particular measure, we can then bisect it to get an angle that's half that, and then bisect that to get an angle that's half that. Uh, so there's some basic ones that, that you can use your prior knowledge to kind of help you with. Um, and the ver So the most basic one that we're going to start off with is a 60 degree angle. Now why is a 60 degree angle so easy to construct? That's because an equilateral triangle you know has 60 degree angles. And an equilateral triangle is just three congruent sides. Uh, very easy to construct. And I'm going to show you the equilateral triangle construction and then show you how you can use that to, to help you with these three problems here. And I've combined them together for a reason, as you'll see in a moment. Okay, so I'm going to start with just an arbitrary, whoops, that didn't work, an arbitrary segment that's going to be uh, part of my equilateral triangle. It's going to be sort of one side. And now I want to make the other two. So I'm going to open my compass up to that width because I want to find other segments that are the same length. Again, equilateral, equal sides. So I'm going to make that arc up here, which is all the points that are the same distance away. Again, that concept of equidistant, so important. Then I'm going to go over to the other end and do the same thing. And now what we've got here I don't want you to actually draw the equilateral triangle, but I want you to see that this and this are equal to the original because I used the same radius to construct them. That's the big idea. So I've effectively constructed an equilateral triangle. Well, what do you know about the angles? You know that they are each 60 degrees. So. I don't need both sides, I really just need one of them to make the angle, so I'm just going to draw that. And I now know by construction that that's a 60 degree angle. But Mr. Appel, this question didn't ask us for a 60 degree angle, it asked us for a 120 degree angle. Well, what's 60 times 2? It's 120. So one way to do this construction would be to just make another 60 degree angle right next to it, adjacent to it. But it's even easier than that. We can do this construction even easier than that because the easiest angle to make, I think you'd all agree, is the straight angle. Well, what happens if I just extend that side, make a straight angle? Well, I know that whole thing is 180, so if this one is 60, what's this one? It's got to be 120. So very easy to construct a 60 degree angle and therefore a 120 degree angle. I'm going to take those away so our sketch doesn't get too messy. So there's our 120. Now if I want a 150 degree angle, well let's do a little math here. Uh, a 150 is really just a 120 plus a 30. Well why is plus 30 more important? Because what's half of 60? Half of 60, 60 divided by 2 is 30. Well, I've got a 60 degree angle right here. So if I can simply bisect that angle, I'll have a 30. And I can add the 30 to the 120. We know how to add angles, and that'll give me my 150. So let's go ahead and do that. So how do I bisect an angle? Let me change colors here so it's easier to follow. I'm going to open up to an arbitrary radius. Remember, this is just really constructing a rhombus. And then go to that intersection point, make an arc. Go to that intersection point, make an arc. And that is my angle bisector. Whoops, I didn't need that. Get rid of that. And let's go ahead and use my straight edge to construct my angle bisector. There it is. And so again, this whole angle was 60. I bisected it, so that makes this 30, and this was 120, so that whole angle is 150. Hooray! But wait, there's more. Number 19 asked us to make a 165 degree angle. 
Well, how can I make 165? Let's do a little basic addition. How about 150, which I just created, plus 15? Why is 15 important? Well, what's half of 30? Half of 30, 30 divided by 2, is 15. So I can bisect one of my 30 degree angles to make a 15 degree angle. So let's change colors again and bisect. I'm going to bisect this angle so I'll have my 150 plus my 15 and then I'll have my 165. So let's bisect that angle. I'm going to open to a different Normally you wouldn't do all three of these in the same in the same construction. That's why this is getting a little bit messy. Um, but you know you can always change colors like I did. So pick an arbitrary radius. I'm going to use that same radius again and find that that aiming point. I'm going to go ahead and construct that line that ray and there we go and so now what I know is that this angle is 120 plus 30 plus 15 which is 165 kinda cool huh